Yeah, hello. Welcome to another valuable video from Jane Data Soft. In today's video, I'm going to be showing how to link your database to your OneDrive account. Uh, like I explained earlier in the other video, that uh, we can boost our database in the OneDrive account and then later we will link it from the OneDrive to our user interface. Alright, so let's move on. So how do we do that? In to be able to link the JN data stuff to your OneCloud account or your OneDrive account, sorry, you we have two options. You have two options to link to your one uh, drive account or your cloud account. The first one is to link the database to your cloud account. So you can have the database on your server machine or on your computer then you create a link to your OneDrive account or you can after you you're done with the installation you can copy the the database you move the database from your server machine to your OneDrive account and then you will link it to the user interface all right so let's look at how we would do that practically all right so we'll go ahead and launch the app all right then uh, like I said this is the user interface that comes you can join and, and then you can also look at the changes or the new update the things we've done in the new update all right so you go ahead and log in to your database so as you can see we have successfully logged in now from where we are using this we have the database on our computer on our server we have it on our server so I will go ahead and then check let's go and check come to advanced settings then we come to backup we can open the database folder to see and then when we open the database folder we can see that we have it right here so I explained earlier we have the database server on our computer and we can simply just link it to our cloud account but please make sure before you do that you have the OneDrive installed on your computer as you can see I have mine installed I click on open and we have it here so this is it so I can just create the link onto my OneDrive account and then we have all our data and everything stored online so in the event of power failure or we tend to lose the data the computer is being stolen we don't end up losing all our data or information so this is how it is so as you can see I've moved my pics the school pictures that I have into the various folders in the drive account so you can do that you can create an account for your school and then move all your pictures and all that then we we'll link it to the software so once you move all your pictures in there we are going to we'll go ahead and link so it's very simple you just have to come here you come to link your cloud account and then you click on link the cloud account so before we do that let's check something here uh, let's minimize minimize the folder and then let's pin our one drive account folder and then let's see come to one drive and then you look here and then let's See done with it. Uh, my, uh, it. So this is how you do it. Let's see. Click on things to your one cloud the cloud account. And then the very moment you click you would notice that the data base will be moved in the root drive of the OneDrive account or your OneDrive account. So as soon as you click on click here to link and so the database will be linked to your OneDrive account. Click Linking was successful. Now let's have a look and refresh. You see, so we have linked the database. So the database is now linked to your OneDrive account. So the very moment the computer crashes or your PC crashes or is being stolen, you can still retrieve your data. All you need to do is you get another computer, then you log in with your OneDrive account, and then once you logged in with your OneDrive account. You only have to install the user interface on the machine and then you go ahead and then you link from. So this time around you wouldn't come here, you would come to 
the offline mode, confirm yes, and then you come and click this. So we link from our OneDrive account. So once we click on this button, it will automatically link the database from your OneDrive account. So that is how you go about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very short one. So it's that simple. You can follow the instructions. You can kindly watch these videos. These are links to my YouTube channels that when you click, if you want have challenges doing any of this, you can watch a video on how you perform these actions. So do well to watch them, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that when I release a new update, you can get it. And do let me know what you think of this feature that we've built into it. It's that simple. You only just log in with your cloud account. You just come to the settings, advanced settings, and click on link, and just click on link here. Click here to link your database to your OneDrive account. And then once you click, it automatically creates the link in your OneDrive account, just as we have done. So do well to do that so that you can secure your database you don't end up losing all your database information is that important I have the school picks here so when I happen to click I can just link right from my OneDrive account and then I don't end up losing the data so I just come with a picture and I add a picture then this time I'll move to my OneDrive account and add from the OneDrive so the school picks and I open and then I add so just okay then it means we have the picture links from our OneDrive account so as you can see the directory or the location we have it in there so I think that is how you do it so do well to follow the instructions you will be able to do it is that simple And more so, you can also change the directory so that all the backups will be moved to your OneDrive account. All the backups. So you only just come here, um, backup database, and then you set a file path. When you click on set a file path, then you set the file path. So you see this has been redirected to my OneDrive. So each time I make an update, I make a changes in the system, it's automatically being backed up in my OneDrive account. So that I don't end up losing any data at any point in time so do well to do that and then do let me know what you think thank you for watching this video please do like do like my videos subscribe to my channels hit the notification bell for more updates you can contact me visit my website for the software this website you can simply just log in and download the app from there thank you very much see you in the next video Peace out.